Hey guys, hang on just a second. We'll start in just a second. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, good Sunday morning to you. The sun's out up here in the Hudson Valley and it's 45 degrees. It's hard to believe it's May and almost summer. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you this morning about how to change how you think about failure. Um, when I did that, I could risk doing things where I might fail and that allowed me to do more things so I could be successful. Uh, so what I learned how to do was considered failure is only feedback. Um, when you do something and you and you you don't get what you want, it isn't really failure. All it really is is you know, hey, I didn't want that outcome. So think of it like that. Think of it as you know, I didn't I, I didn't want that. So what do you do? Here's what you do when adversity comes. Uh, you just have to change what you're doing. Maybe you change, you tweak it. But when you when you when you do something and it doesn't happen like you needed it to. Uh, don't get mad. Stay calm. Don't see it as failure. Don't take the emotional hit. Just take it as, well, that's something that I didn't really want. And then go adjust and see what happens next. It isn't any different than a torpedo. The old torpedoes back in World War II, they knew what they wanted. They wanted to hit the ship. Uh, the torpedo starts out in the water, and it is most of the time off course. Most of the time it's to the left, of course. It gets the feedback and says, oh, I got to adjust. It turns right and it gets off course too far to the right. And then it says, oh, I got to adjust and then it adjusts. But most of the time it is off course failing, but it knows where it wants to go. And that's the other important thing. You got to know what your outcome is. Let me give you an example of what happened this week uh, in a business that I'm working in. We put in a new process. And uh, the technician went out and did the behavior, and it blew up, and the customer got angry, and dispatch got upset, and management got upset, and when we stepped back and we looked at what happened, it really wasn't failure. It's just we've got to adjust our behavior because we only learned one thing to do, and now we've got to learn another thing to do. So what we have to do is persevere through the feedback so we can do some tweak what we did so it'll work and we'll get our outcome. So anyway, I hope this encouraged you. Uh, you can catch uh, Dr. Seema and I tonight on Blab at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to talk about uh, how to manage your emotional response to things like this. Uh, so remember, don't be moved by that difficult circumstance in your life. Persevere. It builds character. See you, bye.